I was able to start programming as a child. There weren't personal computers when I was little, but there was a mainframe computer at my father's business, and he brought home a terminal, and I learned to program during the 1970s. I got my first professional programming job the summer after I finished high school, and then I went to MIT where I majored in computer science and did summer internships at Microsoft. And I stayed at MIT for my master's and PhD. I've been on this campus a long time, back when it was Mills College. I joined the Mills faculty in 1998. Alongside teaching at Mills, I worked on the side at Google for many years, from 2004 to 2014 as a software engineer and research scientist. And I like to bring my industry experience and my many decades of computer experience to the classroom, talking with students about what's done in industry and why we teach what we do. I'm open to students about my physical disability, my tremor, and I want them to know that some computer scientists have disabilities and also some users of their technology. So to keep that in mind when they're building systems. One of the biggest problems that computer programmers have is what's called the imposter syndrome, where they think everybody knows what they're doing except for them. Now you're spending time on computer science and may need to put in a little more effort. It's not that something's wrong with you, it's while the other students were doing AP computer science, you were getting great at something else. I often talk with my students about that, that it's normal to sometimes feel overwhelmed, and that doesn't mean that they don't belong in the field. It means they're like everybody else in the field.